What's up, family? Four black women were captured on video at Elmina Slave Castle in Ghana, twerking for the ancestors, and they were immediately eviscerated all over social media. I ain't got no problem with that. Now I know some of you are saying, well, you need to know your history. Twerking come from Africa. That is one of the most asinine comments anybody can make regarding this situation. That is a time and place for everything. Now I know for some of y'all, it don't matter, you know, cause you don't respect nothing. I know some of y'all ain't got no filter to you, nothing, no one is sacred. I get it, I get it, but I'm not with that. Those women were on a rooftop twerking where just below them, our ancestors were black women just like them, were tortured, raped, murdered, and sold. That don't mean nothing. Like, that don't, that don't mean nothing at all to y'all. Like, you know, like, yeah, no matter, yeah, that was a long time ago. Let's twerk. Like, everything is just live and let live. Like, don't judge, really? Like, like ain't nothing sacred, like, Everything goes, everything is funny. Oh, they was laughing it up. Just for the ancestors twerking. Now, the fact that neither one of them could dance in the first place is besides the point. All of them look busted up. You have to wonder who raised them. Now I know some of y'all might be in the comments already and I probably should have just jumped on this right out the gate too. Some of y'all are in the comments, are these the black queens we talking about? Respecting, you know, spell queens uh, when they get uh, sarcastic about it. They spell queens with a K, K-W-E-E-N-S. These the black queens y'all talking about? No dummy. Obviously they're not queens and obviously we're not that stupid to group all black women together. We gotta stop these generalizations. So I'm gonna point out a type of black woman and that type of black woman got to go. They got to go. They are absolutely no good for our society. They got to go. We ain't talking about the black women who carry themselves with class. So that goes what I'm saying. It's like somebody killed somebody out in, in, in Connecticut somewhere and just out of nowhere, somebody said, well, what about Black Lives Matter? What they doing? Like, but see, some people have been indoctrinated to spew white supremacist talking points. Some people have been indoctrinated the same way some black people, many black people have been indoctrinated to spew self-hate information, phrases, and sayings. They've been indoctrinated. As soon as they see somebody black doing anything bad, see that's why we at the bottom of the barrel. We our worst enemy. See, you know, the white man ain't got to do nothing. We da, 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 da. Instead of looking at the glass as half full, I know we got work to do. That's why I posted it. Some people say, well, why you post that type of stuff? You know, they, they uh, you know, you giving them what they need. You giving them attention. No, I'm posting it so that that can be addressed. See, we can try to ignore it, but the more we try to ignore it, the more 
they put it out there. And the more, it's almost like silence is consent. It's like, if you're silent about these type of things, it's almost like you're agreeing with it. So I get it when people say you're gonna give them the attention that they're looking for, but sometimes you got to expose these type of things and put people on blast so they'll understand that this ain't right. And also for the, not just them, because some of those type of people, they're never gonna get it anyway. But you put it out there to let others know, oh, this ain't the trend to follow. This ain't what you want. This ain't it. That's why you put it out there, you know? So you still gotta, you know, kinda, you know, be guarded and, and, and try to, you know, have some type of discretion about, you know, how you repost these stories or whatever. But in my opinion, if you're posting for information and instructions, if you're posting so that others can learn a lesson, get something out of it, I don't have a problem with that. I don't post these stories for sensationalism. I don't post these stories for glorification. For me, it's all about information and instructions. Just like I posted about dude who knocked out the woman. I wanted people to see how, how happy and excited and, and confident he was before he punched that woman. It was less than 30 seconds later. It wasn't even 15 seconds before them bullets started penetrating his body. He wasn't counting on that. So these chicks, I don't know where they come from, fam. I don't know exactly when it started, but it needs to stop. It is a bad, bad look. Malcolm X said, black women are the most disrespected people in America. Assuming that's true, it don't help that some of that disrespect is self-inflicted. No more talk. What the haters talking about?